Good day, folks. Good day. Good day. It's your guy, Inspired Seeker, coming to you live from nature once again. I'm out here, guys, taking in some sunlight. Seems like the last couple of days been raining, raining, raining. But today, after the rain, the sun is back out. So I'm out here connecting with the sun, soaking in some vitamins. Today's message is on healing, guys. Healing. Okay. And it's inspired by a subscriber's comment. Okay. A little while back, I had a subscriber leave a comment on one of my videos that said, uh, everybody's always telling you to heal and telling you to focus on your healing, but nobody tells you how to heal. Okay, so I decided to take a shot at this and hopefully I'll be able to help this subscriber find ways to heal. All right. So with that being said, guys, let's get into the message. All right. Let me start with this. Huh? Healing is a personal journey, guys. Okay. Healing is a very, very personal journey. All right. Healing is also a painful process. Okay. It's personal. It's painful. Healing requires strength and willingness. All right strength and willingness healing is a lonely solitary journey okay like i mentioned earlier it's personal it's also lonely and it's also solitary all right healing requires sacrifices okay you're gonna have to make some sacrifices while you're healing all right but on the other side guys healing is empowering okay I got some notes here, so if I keep looking down, I'm referring to my notes, all right? Healing is empowering, guys, all right? Healing is liberating, all right? Healing leads you to your truth, okay? And healing encourages self-love, okay? Those are the, the good parts of healing, all right? The good things about healing, all right? And healing will help you reconnect with yourself, all right? So now that we have that out of the way, guys, let's get into the message, okay? One of the hardest things you would ever have to do in your life, guys, is accepting defeat and finding it in your heart to forgive your abusers. I'll go there again. <clears throat> One of the most difficult things you ever have to do in your life, guys, is accepting defeat and finding it in your heart to forgive your abusers, all right? Yet, it is also the healthiest way to approach your healing, okay? It's also the healthiest way to approach your healing. Now, there was a channel I used to listen to, this one video and they start the video by saying the hardest walk is the walk you you have to make alone but it's also the walk that makes you the strongest something like that all right i say all that to say this guys when you're healing you're healing for yourself okay you're not healing for your abusers you're not healing for another individual you're not healing for your family you're not healing for your children you're not healing for your friends. You are healing for yourself. All right. So with that being said, guys, let's touch a bit on forgiveness. All right. Forgiveness is a big step in your healing process. All right. Again, forgiveness is a major, major, major step. All right. It plays a major part in your healing process. All right. It helps us accelerate your healing, all right? And let's also understand this, all right? When you forgive, okay, if you forgive another individual, you forgive your abuser, you forgive a group. When you forgive in general, guys, 
let's understand that you're forgiven for your own sake okay you're forgiven for your well-being all right you're not forgiven for the sake of the other individual you're not forgiven for the sake of the offender you are essentially forgiven for your own sake all right now i'm gonna tell you why here in a little bit okay why am i stressing this forgiveness part guys is because when you forgive okay when you forgive your offender or when you forgive another individual you are essentially creating space to process and release that event okay process and release whatever that offensive event might have been okay and there's nothing more liberating than that all right for you to be able to forgive process and release that entire experience out of your system okay this will help you create room for more positive energy because while you hold on to these things huh while you hold on to these experiences while you hold on to, to to these offenses guys they're taking up mental space and also taking up heart space all right space that you could use for something better for something more positive all right so let's understand that okay we give our power away to the emotions the events and the people we hold on to, all right? These people or these events or these emotions have essentially ran their course, okay? Chances are it's an event that happened in the past, right? Their time with you has already expired, all right? And while we hold on to that, all that's doing is holding mental space, okay? And also holding heart space okay so let's learn to forgive these individuals for their wrongdoing let's learn to process these events and these experiences and let's learn to release them out of our system so we can make room for more positive energy to come into our lives all right now healing requires willingness all right healing requires strength Healing requires willpower, all right? Healing requires sacrifices, and healing requires love, both for yourself and for the other individual, all right? So now that we got that all of that out of the way, let's go into some of the steps you could take to heal yourself. The first step, guys, is don't be vengeful, okay? Don't be vengeful. Don't seek revenge on the offender, all right? Do not seek revenge on the offender. As an empath, guys, chances are you don't even have that kind of <laughs> bone in your body, so to speak, right? We cannot hold on to these negative experiences, all right? We don't have a hateful bone in our body, so to speak, all right? So don't be vengeful, all right? On the other hand, guys, let's also understand that the individual who abused you, uh, as you forgive that individual, the individual who abused you, who offended you, as you forgive them, guys, you are essentially sending out a frequency out into the universe, all right? And this frequency will return to that individual to give them their karma essentially okay then we talked about the law of cause and effect what you give you get back all right so by you not seeking revenge by you not avenging your offender guys you leave it up to the universe to process and judge this situation all right you leave it up to the higher power to process and judge this situation all right and if they offended you for no specific reason, no good reason behind the offense, then chances are they're gonna receive back that negative energy that they send out in your direction. All right, so let's understand that guys, don't be vengeful, allow that to be, okay? Allow the situation to be, allow that individual to carry on, all right? Step number two, accept yourself and, and your situation, all right? If you were in a narcissistic relationship, abusive 
rela relationship, whatever that situation is, guys, accept it for what it truly is. All right. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't cover it up. Don't do any of that, guys. Huh? Accept it for what it truly is. And also accept yourself. All right. That's 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 a, a big part of this this whole process. All right. Accept yourself. Accept your fault. No matter how bad the situation may be, huh? Accept it, guys. All right. Accept it. Accept yourself for even allowing that to happen to you. Okay. Because one of the things we do is we go into the self blame. All right. Especially coming out of a, a narcissistic, abusive relationship. The narcissist has essentially created this this whole mind fuck in our heads now so we go into the self-blame and we start calling ourselves names and we start blaming ourselves for allowing things to, to happen for allowing things to go as far as it did and for not being smart enough or for not being awakened enough to do something about it to stop it or to get us get us out of the situation all right so as a big step to this guys huh in the healing process Accept yourself, guys. Huh? Accept yourself for who you are. Accept yourself for what happened. Accept this situation for what it truly is. All right? So that's step number two, acceptance. All right? Accept yourself and accept this situation for what it is. All right? Step number three is forgive yourself and forgive your abuser. All right? This ties into step number two, acceptance. All right? Now we go back to forgiveness. Okay? Forgive yourself, guys. Huh? Forgive yourself for allowing things to go as far as it did. Forgive yourself for allowing this, this to happen in the first place. Forgive yourself huh? for being so naive. Forgive yourself for being so kind. Forgive yourself for being so forgiving and allowing all of this to transpire. All right? For allowing all of this abuse to happen to you for allowing this individual to carry out this abuse on you forgive yourself for that all right once you've forgiven yourself guys now you're able to forgive your offender okay again once you've been able to forgive yourself huh then you'll be able to forgive your offender all right we talked about don't be vengeful all right then we talked about acceptance guys as a major part of the healing process, you have to learn to forgive your offender, all right? And this starts when you forgive yourself first, okay? So forgive yourself, let bygones be bygones, and then from there, you can forgive your offender, okay? Forgive your offender no matter how grave the damage is, guys, no matter how deep it hurts, no matter how much they hurt you, guys, okay? allow bygones to be bygones and allow them to be forgive them okay forgive them okay because i have here guys forgiving your offender is one of the most liberating actions that you would ever have to take all right so learn guys to forgive yourself and then from there you'll be able to forgive your offender okay our right, step number four is allow yourself to grieve this is another big step. This is where all the work is done, okay? This is where all the pain is expressed. This is where all the pain is processed. This is where all the pain comes out, all right? So allow yourself to grieve, guys, huh? A lot of us often catch ourselves playing the, not, the tough guy, all right? Guys, you're not doing nothing but piling up a lot of negative energy, okay? You need to grieve, all right? It's like, God forbid, someone passes that's close to you and you you fail to express the emotion that's associated with that loss, all right? What you're doing is, is you're harboring this negative energy because our emotions are energy in motion. Okay, it's energy in motion, guys. Allow it to pass. Don't hold on to it. All right, when you try to play tough guy, you're essentially 
resisting the movement of this emotion and it will compile and become a bigger problem for you in the long run trust me when i tell you okay so allow yourself to grieve guys huh allow yourself to grieve you may need a friend you may need a therapist you may need new activities you may need a lot of things all right whatever it is that you need guys make sure you seek it out okay don't be shy don't be afraid guys this is for your well-being this is for your mental health all right it's serious stuff so allow yourself to grieve all right cry if you feel like crying all right work out run it off Go in the gym, get in the boxing ring, guys, punch the bag. Do what it is that you have to do to release this pain, all right? Pain is pain, guys. It won't go away, all right? Find some kind of activity to release that pain on, all right? I must say this also, guys, huh? Crying, guys, crying, okay? No matter how much we frown upon it, guys, crying is very liberating, okay? crying helps you release a lot all right and crying is also healing all right so let's not say oh you crying you soft or this or that or they try to play tough no there's actually power in crying guys huh those who are able to cry are able to process their emotions a lot better they're able to process their emotions a lot faster all right they're able to heal a lot quicker okay so there's power in crying all right having gone through such a, a, a toxic experience such a negative experience guys you feel it dearly you feel it deeply in your heart guys i know the feeling all right allow yourself to cry do not resist that emotion from passing through your system okay do not resist that emotion uh, that energy emotion from trying to leave your system because that's essentially what's happening okay so help it if you feel called to cry by all means guys find some private space and break it out okay allow it to come allow the tears to flow you will feel better trust me you will feel better all right if you're an active person huh go to your local gym lift some weights huh get in the boxing ring punch the bag okay do activities that will help you release this negative energy all right because when you hold on to this all right remember this is, is energy in motion and as you hold on to it guys you are resisting that motion okay so what it will do is it will compile okay it will get bigger all right and it will eventually lead to an outburst of some sort which is never good okay at some point in the future it will lead to an outburst of some sort all right and this is never good this is not the outcome that we we going with all right so allow yourself to grieve guys huh allow yourself to grieve please all right this is a very major part of the process allow yourself to grieve don't play a tough guy all right release that bad energy okay it's trying to exit your system release that okay Another thing you could do during the grieving process, guys, is you could write it out, okay? You can journal it out, okay? Whatever feelings that you're harboring towards this, this individual or that you're harboring as a result of this experience, guys, write it out. Write out however you're feeling, okay? There's a lot of power in writing out your thoughts, guys. Huh? The same way we could use it to manifest and all that good stuff we can also use it to release okay especially when we have negative thoughts and negative feelings holding us back okay write it out however you feel write it up it does not have to be perfect it does not have to be structured it does not have to be anything just write out however you feel whip out a pen and a pad and write it out okay and what you could do with that is you could either burn it afterwards huh or you could tear it up and throw it in the garbage. I would advise not keeping it because holding on to that is essentially like holding on to that experience, same as holding on to that emotion. So write it out, all right? And then destroy it afterwards, all right? One thing you could do is universe, 
I release all of this to you and burn it. All right. Or rip it up and throw it away. Say, universe, I release all of this to you. Okay. It's another powerful way to release this. All right. Allow yourself the time and the space to grieve, guys. Okay. This may be lonely. It may be solitary. It may be personal. All right. You may want to get away from folks when you're going through this process. Okay. That's why I started by saying healing is a solitary journey healing is a, a painful process healing is a personal journey all right because you may have to get yourself away from folks and get to a place where you feel comfortable to facilitate your healing all right so that's number four guys allow yourself to grieve man it's very very important all right i cannot stress that enough it's very important allow yourself to grieve and the final step, guys, is use self-love to help you transition, guys, all right? One of the things that always seem to pop up during the process is the, the memories that's associated with these experiences, right? Now, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job, whatever that experience might have been, huh? There are some good memories and there are also some terrible, terrible memories, okay? No matter what the memories are that's associated with this experience or that's associated with this event, guys. One of the things is that we find ourselves missing the experiences we had, okay? Especially the good experiences we had, okay? so. If it's a, a situation where you had someone who used to buy you flowers and buy you gifts and take you out shopping and take you to dinner, take you to the movies, take you on vacation, take you on trips, whatever it may be, guys, begin doing that for yourself, okay? This is self-love. Huh? This is self-love. Begin to do these things for yourself because this individual is no longer available to do these things for us, all right? So if it's flowers, guys, I buy myself flowers, okay? Let me be honest, all right? I buy myself gifts. I take myself out to dinner, all right? I do things for myself that since there's nobody to do it for me, I do it for myself. I treat myself, okay? So begin doing these things for yourself, guys. Huh? If it's shopping, guys, go and take yourself shopping. All right? Take yourself shopping. If it's dinner, guys, take yourself to dinner. All right? If it's, like I said, flowers and gifts, guys, begin buying yourself flowers and gifts. Okay? Begin doing these things for yourself to fill that void that has now been created in your life. All right? So use that to your advantage, guys, to tap into yourself even more, okay? To get closer with yourself even more, okay? Remember what I said earlier, healing will help you connect deeply with yourself, all right? So use this to your advantage, all right? Connect with yourself more. Find out what you love, what you love to do, and begin doing these things, okay? Because one of the other, one of the things that we do uh, that we must learn to do after these experiences is that we have to begin to create new memories, okay? In the healing process, guys, we have to create new memories to get rid of that, that old memory and that, and that old experience, okay? So we have to create new experiences. We have to create new memories, all right? And how do we do this? By beginning to do different things for ourselves, all right? So one of the things you want you may want to do is if there was a particular shopping shopping area that you used to frequent with this individual uh, start looking for an alternate place to do your shopping okay if there was a favorite restaurant that the two of you used to enjoy going to or a movie theater that the two of you used to enjoy going to guys Begin to find alternative uh, places 
for you to build new memories essentially okay guys get rid of the memories okay get rid of the old memories that's the idea here okay so if for instance they used to take you to the steakhouse all right you find another steakhouse okay they used to take you to the shopping mall you find another shopping mall to do your shopping all right they used to buy you certain particular gifts you find another store to buy yourself these gifts all right these are all guys ways to get rid of that memory all right another thing you could do too is find yourself a a friend so to speak if if it's available find yourself a friend and make sure this person is someone you trust this person is someone uh, who has your best interest okay and then you can build new experiences with them all right but remember what i said healing is personal so if there's no one available guys do it for yourself do it for yourself guys all right and the idea is to replace these memories and to replace these experiences with better ones all right so that's the healing process guys huh that's the healing process now i have a few things that you can incorporate into your life on a daily basis on a regular basis huh to help you with this whole transition all right and one of them is practicing gratitude regularly guys huh practicing gratitude regularly all right when you find something to be grateful for and you focus on that huh you focus on being grateful for that guys everything else will fall into place all right what don't belong will fall away and the things that you're grateful for will remain all right so practice gratitude regularly during your healing process all right healing could take a, a lot longer healing it depends on what the experience is all right healing could take longer okay so practice gratitude make gratitude a big part of your healing process all right another thing too is uh therapy okay therapy some of us are not strong enough to heal on our own okay or may not be lucky enough to have a trusted friend or a trusted family member to help us with the healing process all right and so the next option will be therapy okay and that's if you're open to it okay if you are someone who's open to seeking therapy mental health therapist all right then by all means if you're comfortable with that by all means seek it out okay and use it to your advantage all right go there release what needs to be released use what they teach you and and allow them to help you with the experience allow them to help you with the process all right it helps sometimes all right for those who may not be strong enough or who may not be lucky enough to do it on their own or to have someone help them with it all right so seek out therapy if you're able to okay another thing that you may want to incorporate is spending time in nature okay guys the power of spending time in nature i cannot even go there all right there's a lot of healing in nature guys okay if if you live near a body of water guys begin taking nature walks all right if you're near a beach on the ocean go out and just walk around listen to the waves and listen to the breeze huh go out walk around do some grounding okay do daily nature walks guys it helps you clear your mind it helps you clear your thoughts all right the flow of water guys huh this is for those who are lucky enough to be near a body of water all right the flow of water guys represents our emotions okay so it will help you process and, and allow your emotions to flow regularly all right without you holding on to on to them or resisting them all right so incorporate that if you have a body of water available to you go out there and take advantage of it all right spend some time sitting near it spend some time walking around it all right be there guys be in nature all right um if you don't have water available to you guys go out in the in the forest if you have go out in the park see where i'm at here i'm surrounded by greenery 
okay there's greens everywhere if if the the ground was not wet today i'll usually take my shoes off do some grounding do some earthing all right go out guys just walk around take nature walks guys it's healing it helps you process your thoughts and your emotions all right so please incorporate that into your daily life during your healing process all right another thing is journaling okay journaling guys i mentioned how you'll be able to write out your feelings you'll be able to write out your emotions all right whatever comes to your mind whatever comes to your your thoughts guys write them out okay it's a very powerful way to release them out of your system okay so journal daily if you feel called to it okay if you feel like you can do it guys journal do it daily all right or journal weekly okay another thing it will do is it will help you keep track of your, your healing process all right today i'm over here i made it th th this far journal guys huh write these things out all right another thing you could do guys is affirmations okay affirmations all right there are a lot of affirmation channels on youtube there are a lot of affirmations out there guys huh find the right affirmation for you and listen to it twice a day listen to it while you go to sleep and listen to it in the morning when you wake up okay have it playing while you're sleeping huh and then in the in the morning also listen to it before you start your day all right this will help reprogram your subconscious this will help with a lot all right so find the right affirmations and incorporate them into your life all right and within maybe two three weeks a month guys you will see the difference all right trust me when i tell you you start to see the difference all right so that's affirmations and the last but not least guys is reiki okay reiki guys there are a lot of reiki channels on youtube huh there's one lady her name is reiki Rachel. she got she has a good channel she has some good stuff there all right there's 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 a lot of channels out there all right incorporate reiki into into that all right it helps a lot too okay sit and listen to the music all right it will help you trust me when i tell you all right so incorporate reiki also into your into your daily life huh another thing you could do is is 432 hertz all right listen to those frequencies huh 432 all right it helps a lot and also 528 the self-love and healing frequencies okay 432 and 528 okay these two frequencies will help you a lot during your healing process all right so that's healing guys huh like i said it requires a lot okay it requires willingness huh you have to be willing to do the work because there's going to be a lot of work involved all right you have to be willing to do the work all right it requires strength guys huh you have to be strong enough to forgive yourself and accept yourself and also forgive your abuser and accept the situation for what it truly is all right also uh it requires um willpower okay guys you can't start and then quit in the middle okay you have to keep going you have to be dedicated and you have to keep going all right you have to get at it every single day all right so it requires a lot of willpower all right it requires love love both for yourself and for the offender all right and it requires dedication so stay committed stay dedicated guys huh and put in the work because it's for your own well-being all right it's for your own good all right so i hope i made it clear enough guys huh and to the subscriber who left that comment i hope this helps guys all right your healing is very important all right and forgiveness play a very vital role in that all right so let me leave it here guys i hope i made it clear enough if you enjoyed the message then give us a like and if you're new here then take a moment to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified the next time we release a video we do our best to release every single day and we discuss spirituality we discuss narcissism we discuss personal development on this channel 
So if any of that appeals to you, then by all means, stick around because there's plenty more to come. All right. So I'll leave this one here, guys. Until next time, peace, love, and more life.